Well, after pointing out the BBC actually telling the truth about the fires in Italy, it seems the media have now decided to tell the truth about the fires in Greece. And as I said in my video a week ago, it was started by people, not bloody climate change. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. Yeah, this you already know, so I won't bang on about it again. But Sky News, The Guardian and more are all saying it was started by human hand. So once again, I find myself asking, did someone pay these people to start them, you know, to push the narrative, and how much might they have been paid? Of course, it should be said that the media get no credit for telling the truth now because they gave the fires headline news coverage, as you know. This they did, all while blaming climate change, despite the fire brigade obviously saying it bloody wasn't. Then a week later on, they release articles, hardly anyone reads admitting the truth, knowing that most gormless sheep out there only pay attention to main headline news, so we'll go on blaming climate change for it until the end of time. This the media do deliberately and is why they claim to crack down on fake news because to them fake news is the truth that will destroy their lies and obviously they don't like it. Remember propaganda never stands up to scrutiny and that's why the BBC have got their verified bullshit that let's be honest is more fake news than the BBC itself. Pandemic. Where 